guys, we're ready for the cruise. I am feeling so ready. We were so excited. We could not help ourselves. We had to get the masks out and just put them on. Just Did trying to the lick mask? my mask. <laughs> Louie, do you like my mask? He's like, who are you? Hi, baby. Oh, <laughs> he's licking my mask. It's probably salty from the last time you oh, used it. Oh, that's true. Is that why you like it? Oh. First off, guys, we're getting a late start to this video tonight. I had work, then gym, which takes forever. This is week four of our challenge, and the gym time is excessive. It's like almost two hours a day in the gym. It is, because we still have all of our lifting that we do. The lifting hasn't changed. The only thing that's changed is that our reps have gone up. So now, on week four, we're doing like 20 reps of everything, and then we're up to an hour of cardio after that. It's a so lot. It's, you have to dedicate a lot of time to the gym. Thankfully, Shell was here. She made us that wonderful dinner. I took care of the meat, which is kind of what I usually do. We got new Traeger pellets finally. We've been out of those forever, so you we're going to be smoking a lot more of our meats here at the house. But she got everything ready. She got everything purchased for our dinner, and I love that. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. It was delicious. We're actually facing a huge dilemma here at the moment. We wanted to bring you guys in on this because your opinions are valuable to us. You've actually helped us through a lot of different things and given us very good advice in the past. Thank you for that. Yeah, the major problem problem we have is that Shell is developing a lot of upper lip hair <laughs> and her mask isn't sealing anymore when she dives <laughs> and she won't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that was funny, babe. That was funny. I actually was not expecting him to say that one <laughs> <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm the problem. Obviously, I'm the problem here. His beard, guys. Guys, I kind of have a long beard history that I wanted to kind of bring you guys in on so you understand the dilemma here. My whole life, I've never had a beard. Even all the way through meeting, dating, marrying Shell, I never had a beard. I always had like very light scruff, maybe a week's worth, and then I would shave it. Never clean shaven. You've always had scruff unless we are scuba diving. We actually got certified together when we were dating, which was awesome. So much fun, and whenever I would dive, I take my snorkeling seriously, so obviously <laughs> I take my diving even more seriously. Very seriously. But I go clean, clean, clean shaven when I dive because I want that seal of the mask. And so it was never a problem because I always just had scruff, so I would just go shave with a razor and get baby face clean, which she's not a huge fan of. <laughs> I'm not a big baby face fan. I'm just, I never have been. I've always liked a little bit of something on, on a guy's face. And I don't blame her. I honestly am now in love with having a beard. I do not know when that happened or how that happened, but I just started growing one out a year or two ago for that New Year's, two years ago, and then I cut it and I regretted it and I grew it again. And a lot of you might know last January, we went to Hawaii with her brother Brandon and his family, known as This Is How We Bing Them in the YouTube universe. We got there, we started booking all these fun excursions. We booked a snorkeling excursion. We also booked an open water shark diving experience or whatever. And I was way stoked on both of these. And guys, I was super unsuccessful at ever getting my mask to seal right around here. And so I did something very drastic when we were there. First off, take a look at these pictures. Here's a picture of me in Hawaii on that trip before I shaved. And look how sick that beard is. <laughs> I was kind of in love with it. And then I made the decision to go ahead and shave it. Here's a picture of me shaving it. This hurts to look at even now. And then here's me clean shaven on that trip. So I did some pretty drastic things there to get that good seal for these excursions. The snorkeling excursion was awesome. We saw a sick octopus and we had a great time. sucks is that on that trip, the open water shark dive was canceled. So that kind of sucks nice. that we did not even get to do that. Now, a lot of you know, we have an upcoming cruise. Go to the ABC Islands again with Brandon and his family. 
And guess what? Yeah, we have some snorkeling excursions planned. We may even go diving. Shell and I have not planned that out. I'm pushing it pretty hard. I really want to go diving. I miss it. I love scuba diving. Snorkeling's cool, but scuba diving, like, hands down is so 10 fun. times better. I do not want to shave this. I do not want to shave it again. It's kind of starting to get to a cool length again. I want it to get a little bit longer. <laughs> but I do not want to shave it, and I still have not found an excellent solution for sealing right here over my upper lip. Any of you out there with a beard or if you know someone with a beard who scuba dives or does anything like that if you want to ask them what they do so their mask doesn't leak and then pass it on to us I would greatly appreciate it I'm researching stuff as well I kind of am a baby about when I go diving or snorkeling I hate when water leaks into my mask so I'm trying to find the best solution and I got to find it soon I have to have that figured out before we go Louie's been kind of bored today so I think we're gonna get outside real quick while we have a tiny bit of sun left and go let him get some energy out go play around so we'll bring you guys with us See you in a sec. just getting home the park looked awesome but that actually ended up being a very bad idea I think we just went at the wrong time of day because we were there about five or six minutes and then decided to run and get out of there because we started to get attacked by bugs that's why we don't have very much footage from that park <laughs> Because we hightailed it out of there when the bugs started coming out. And I started getting bit like crazy. Very strange, guys. When I get bit, they get super big, like, really quickly. And then after a few minutes, even, they, like, shrink in size. I was getting attacked. Shell was getting attacked. Louie, I don't think, cared. But we got out of there. So, sorry, Louie. He had kind of a uh, short play time there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, we have been getting all sorts of questions about our Canada trip. I kind of slipped that one in there for you guys. Good catch to all of you who have asked us about that. We, yes, are going to Canada. When are we going to Canada? Over our anniversary. Over our anniversary. <laughs> You remember when it is? Over our anniversary <laughs> in September. So the end of September, we are going to Canada. And guess what? We, as of now, I know everyone will be shocked to hear because we do this every time. We don't have any plans. Like we have nothing planned. We literally just booked a flight to Vancouver. We're flying into Vancouver, but we're there for like a week. We need your guys' help. Let us know what we need to do in Canada. I really want to see like Vancouver, Whistler. So those are on our list. We are also dying to go to Banff and we are trying to decide if we think that we should do that in this trip. Like spend half of the trip in Vancouver, Whistler area and then go up to Banff for the other half of the trip. Or if we just go back to Canada for a separate Banff trip. What do you guys think? We don't know what we want to do yet. We just booked a flight. It's kind of typical. <laughs> Sorry about our lack of videos this week. It's kind of been a really, really busy week for us coming up to this vacation that we have. Shell has been editing nonstop. She's trying to get everything off of her plate before we leave. That way, you know, everyone has their photos. No one's waiting on anything. Nothing's on her plate. And I've been trying to finish up some projects at work. So there's nothing on my plate as well while we're gone. I'm pretty sure Shell's mentioned this before, but this trip's kind of nuts because we are going on the cruise with her brother, Brandon and Mindy this next week. And then the very following week is my family reunion in California. It kind of worked out kind of nuts. So we fly from Puerto Rico the day we get back from the cruise all the way to California for a week at the beach with my family. Pretty awesome. We're pretty excited about it. It's going to make packing pretty easy because all we need are a few swimmers. Swimsuits as some people call them. We call them swimmers here. <laughs> Shell's uh, converted me to some of her lingo. Back to back trips in the sun, in the ocean. Kind of hard to complain about. We're really excited. But it definitely has made it kind of hard this week to get everything done that we need to and keep putting videos out. So we're sorry about that. Rest assured that plenty of videos are on their way. We're 
bringing Big Bertha out on this trip. We figured why not just pack heavy, you know? We have so much gear when it comes to video, photos, and all of that. So we're just gonna bring the big suitcase. We're Plus, gonna check like, a bag this time. our dive stuff. Like we've got like all of our snorkels yeah. and our masks. We wanna take a beach blanket. I mean, we've got two weeks. Yeah, we're not gonna bother with trying to pack light and carry on this trip, but we're actually gonna get started packing tonight, even though we don't leave till Saturday, just cause we actually have a little bit of free time tonight. We wanna get started and that way we don't forget anything. So this is gonna be a long trip. Oh, Yui's upset. Oh, honey. <laughs> We're gonna miss this little pal like crazy, but, but he's gonna be in very good hands. We've set up some very good babysitters for this little buddy. Thank you for watching. We are so excited for our upcoming trips. We love making videos for you, especially on our trips because they're in such cool places and there's so many cool things to see. So make sure you subscribe if you are new. Check out our Instagram, at Dan and Shell. Shell's killing it, posting a lot of awesome photos that she's taken recently. And also check out Michelle Madsen photo. If you guys don't know, she actually has a separate Instagram for her professional, not that both of them aren't professional, but for her wedding photography and all that that she does, she has a separate Instagram, which is Michelle Madsen Photo. Yeah, for you guys that don't know, I am a full-time photographer. I think everybody knows Daniel does engineering. I am a full-time wedding photographer. So if you're getting married or you know anyone getting married, hit me up. But yeah, Michelle Madsen Photo, that's where you'll find all my wedding photography. And that's what she's working on right now. Just beautiful, Shell. beautiful. <laughs> We're getting back to The Bachelor. We wanna see what Luke is up to. I'm very excited about this. I hate Luke. <laughs> Who do you guys want to win? Do we have any Bachelor fans out there? Oh, I'm sure we do. Oh my gosh, let us know who you want to win. I wanna know. I wanna know who is everybody's rooting for. We're kind of Tyler, but we also would rather see Tyler be the next Bachelor. I want Peter the pilot to win because I want Tyler to be the Bachelor because I think Tyler, out of the three, I think Tyler will be the most fun Bachelor. We're gonna get back to that. Thank you guys for watching, we love you. Everyone have a great night and we will see you soon. Bye.